from here, boom, to that. Here, you see that? Yes? So if somehow you find yourself doing this, and then you're here, and then somehow your scarf gets a little bit too tight like this, it's too much. Because your hand is tight, if he punches you, you'll be doing this. Yes? So you need to make sure, once I'm here, if he punches me, see, I've got this pass. See, my disarm now becomes my defense. Make sense? Yes? So the reason why we take it one, two, three is so that we learn the timing correctly first. And we are closing his opportunity while opening our opportunity. So again, this should be the back of the head. That if that should daze him, yes? If he doesn't, boom, this should hit him. Now, as I'm doing this, see how this is loose? In, in training, I disarm, then I defend. But in reality, punch is, see? My disarm is my defense for the hand. Make sense? But we have to time it correctly so that the knife doesn't fly to his face. Make sense? Okay. So you have, hi, hi. So you have, um, you have inside this disarm. So now we're going to take outside and extend this disarm. Right? So we're going to isolate this first. So remember when you did empty hands, okay? when you did empty hands, first, one, two, inside this arm. So you do exactly the same thing. One, two. Outside pass, outside back hand, half extend. Again, your hand, this one, you're holding the mid of the thumb, not the wrist, mid of the thumb. So once you're there, stretch him out. There's no pain, yes, just stretching him out. So now you slide. Make sure the back of his hand is facing you. So this is why when you're here, you bend it. So you know that you never cut yourself. Keep it there. Again, keep in mind, you have this arm or you have a strip. It doesn't matter. Yes? Oh, uh, but don't go like this. If you go like that, the edge is here. So you want to be away from the edge. Boom. Yes? But for training purposes, you do this. Okay. Yes? So then, take a look. This one, back hand. Do you? Then you back to the you want. So again, you can do back hand or you can do uh, outside pass. But we focus on this one first. So what I want to do here is, I stay on the outside. Again first. Outside. Outside. Boom. Then, this arm here. Ice, if you want to, or back hand. You know both uh, techniques. So you have the option of outside pass, this choke, or back hand, this choke. By the moment, empty hands first, do it twice, three times, uh, get used to the flow and distance. So as I'm here, I'm going, book here, this arm. And you know his. Yes? So your goal is correct distance, correct timing. It's not fast. I'm not doing speed. I'm focusing on coordination. When you have good coordination, everything looks fast. Yes? But look at my distance. Correct distance. Correct distance. Correct distance. Oh, yes? Correct distance. Once you have the correct distance, you know that he'll never be able to hit you because you close all opportunity. So now when I have the scar, yes? Same exact move, a little bit different because of the clock. Yes, this arm, here, now, there, there, step back, boom, there, choke him and break him, yes, so, see the life, it's okay, I'm yeah, fine, I'm fine, don't worry about him, so empty hands wise, first, no, no, I am, okay, outside, this is a finishing move, this could be a, a, a little strike, yes, so keep in mind, Back of the head, clear. Leave us right, up extension, boom. Clear. Back hand, accept. Stop here, right? One more time. Back, so one, two, this, that. See, even this? So, a smash. Boom. Yes? But we're not doing the smash, we just hit, clear, that. Yes, there's a punch. Chill. Thank you so much.